Web Geek here on CTC Productions. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own uh, notepad under Visual Basics. First, what you have to do is open up Visual Basics, uh, click File, New Project, then Windows Form Application, and change it to whatever you want. I'm going to change mine to Notepad. Once it finished creating the Notepad, then it opens it up. What you want to do is click on that and first we're going to change the form one to notepad then we're going to change the size to uh, 700 by 400 let's change it. 700 by 300 sound 400 is better okay um, once you do that go to your toolbar and you're gonna add in a menu strip and a status strip okay once you do that I mean after you do that now you're gonna add in a rich text box then right click I mean click on an arrow there and click doc and parent container then uh, under your menu strip type in file then edit then lastly format under file type in open save and exit under edit type in redo undo then separator let's add in after you do the other separator type in cut copy and paste then we're going to add another separator then we're going to type in clear then add in another separator then lastly we're going to type in select all under format what you're going to type in is color and font uh, before we start coding what we're gonna do is change the font size of of uh, this so what you have to do is go to to go to font on there here and you can change this to let's change it to 15 okay once we're done we can start coding go under file double click on open and type in the following code uh, this co code next we go back to form one a VIB and uh, under save double click okay that's the end of the next set of codes now is when we have to begin to have fun. Double click under exit and then just type in end. Uh, under edit, double click on redo and type in rich text box one dot redo. Then undo, type in rich text box one dot undo and cut type in rich text box one dot cut then for copy type in rich text box one dot copy then for paste double click and type in rich text box one dot paste Then for clear, type in rich text box one clear. 
then for select all type in rich text box one dot select all and that's it for the edit now lastly we have the color and that's it for the color code lastly we're gonna do the font like I said earlier also if you guys notice that at any time you could basically stop in this video and you would have you would still have yourself a notepad basically this notepad is it's basically you can make it how you want it how you want it to act and now we're gonna test our notepad first we're gonna test the minimizing and the maximizing okay next we're gonna t uh, just type in random stuff so we can save it and open it back up we're gonna change the font and we're gonna change it to oblique and 16 and let's change the color to blue and save Save it as blah. And save. Next, we're gonna click file, open, then blah. RFT. And there it is. Next, uh, I'm gonna show you that these functions work. So let's type in redo, I mean undo then redo then uh, select all let's type in copy and I'm gonna erase that then I'm gonna type in paste then select all cut I mean cut and then paste lastly clear once you click clear it's gone because undo is not gonna fix it then as we can see these two work and basically once you're done with your project, uh, you just click publish to, uh, what's it called, basically release your thing, then save it to your desktop, and then uh, basically you have your notepad, and it's fully functional, you can use it versus the regular notepad, since you basically create, I mean, use the time to make it, it's more meaningful to use your own notepad and have a good day.